I grew up on Long Island. I watched Chiller Theater on Channel 11 in New York, and Zachary was the host. That's when I became interested in horror movies and science fiction movies. When it was time to go to college, I decided that I wanted to major in film and television. Do you like scary movies? Well, do you? Hello, everybody, boys and ghouls, mummies and daddies. It's your old pal Zombo welcoming you to Zombo's House of Horror Movies. Zombo's House of Horror Movies is basically a showcase for public domain movies. Public domain horror movies are interesting because it is over such a wide spectrum of movies. We had movies like The Monster from a Prehistoric Planet, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, and a whole slew of movies from outer space, like Killers from Space or Phantom from Space. And they were all pretty much done in the 50s and 60s. And they are public domain because they were either never registered with the copyright office or when the copyrights expired, they were not renewed. Colo is Channel 8 in Reno, Nevada, and it is the ABC affiliate. When the opportunity to do the show came up, the station asked me to come up with an idea for something to run after the 11 o'clock news. Ooh, this week's movie is one of the scariest movies ever made. We decided that we would do a skit in the beginning of the show, and then during the movie, we would take the character Zombo and insert him in certain scenes where we could come up with a clever line or a clever visual. I see you are quite well. <laughs> I bet you see a lot of things. Zombo is the zombie vampire that lives in the castle in the mist because it came off of Count Zombozo, we decided to make him like a clown. The Zombo makeup is basically clown white, which is Ben Nye white makeup. And then you take the Ben Nye black makeup and do the highlights on it. You get some cheap lipstick and you draw the blood on there. Zombo has a top hat. <laughs> he has a wizard's robe with a capelet. It was made by upholstery fabric that we found in a New Age store. He has a bunch of characters that stop by his castle. Ooh, I wonder who's at the door. We had a character, Miss Transylvania. We also had a character, Bianca the Rat Girl. Paul Dancer plays Officer Not-So-Friendly, the angry man behind the door. He's in almost every show, played werewolfy. Working at a television station, it's a lot of fun and interesting because so many people say, oh, I want to be on your show, I want to help you out. So we had a janitor. He became quasi the hunchback, and he would interact with Zombo too. Zombo is a victim of circumstances. It means I'm in the wrong house! and Miss Transylvania is trying to straighten him out, or Officer Not So Friendly is trying to take Zombo to jail, where he belongs. We had a lot of talented people work on the show. David Allen was a very talented cameraman. He did a lot of the effects in Lightwave and in After Effects. I had editors that worked for me, I had script writers, and they all wanted to get involved with the show because it was an outlet to let your creative juices flow. We did everybody else's work for the eight hours that we worked uh, our regular jobs, and then afterwards, okay, let's go work on Zombo. You've gotta have a release, and you've gotta have something fun, and this is, to me, this is the fun part. I tell people now, when I go to the nursing home, I'm gonna have the coolest stories. And a lot of those are gonna involve Frank and this set behind me and Zombo. And action. All kinds of people, all ages watch the show because bad horror movies, which are basically the public domain horror movies, people like to watch them because they're not only semi-scary, but they're bad and they're funny and they can escape into this realm of this show 
and have a laugh and get on with life with a smile on their face. <laughs>